you for joining us today, Clayton. Can you tell me, what is Malta's key message to the WTM Indians this year? First of all, it's good to be back here at the WTM. It's also important that we as a country are here present and making sure that Malta is open for business. This is our main message to everybody who is both visiting here at WTM and also watching these interviews, because we do believe that through the pandemic, while we worked hard to stay in touch with the people who are interested in Malta, now is the time to start attracting our tourists back to Malta, to our lovely and beautiful islands where we are welcoming all the tourists who wish to visit Malta in the coming years and months. The summer has been a relatively good summer, and now we are working hard to ensure that the winter is one which can also sustain our tourism numbers with the aim of building back better and stronger for the coming months. And so travel trends have changed since the pandemic. How do you feel Malta is changing to cater what, to what travellers now want? We have continued investing in our product. We are looking at introducing back a number of niches in the tourism industries. We have worked hard, for example, in the diving industry whereby the diving sector and our water gems, which, which we have around the island, we are making sure that we continue investing to have a better product and a safer product as well. We are investing more in sports tourism and we are also launching a new niche of tourism in Malta, which is faith tourism. Malta is well known for having a number of churches. In fact, there are none less than 365 different churches and chapels in Malta. That is one church for every day. So everybody who is interested in, in a spiritual journey, they can easily visit Malta, which is also well connected. So connectivity, we believe, is key for us. And we have worked hard during the pandemic to ensure that Malta remains well connected so that one can enjoy whether it's culture, tradition, or the sea and the sun, all of which they can form a whole package of our island. We're also working hard on the gastronomic aspect where now we have five Michelin stars restaurants and we are working hard to have more Michelin star restaurants, all of which can add to a beautiful gastronomic experience on our islands. Brilliant, that takes me to the last question. What's the plan for 2022? We have always worked hard and in every crisis, Malta has managed to come back better and stronger. And this is our message, not just to the tourists, but also to our own people. Our host population, wants to get back better and stronger, especially in the tourism industry. The tourism which forms a major economic pillar for our country, and now it is looking back to helping with the recovery, our economic recovery and also the social recovery of Malta and Gozo. And we do believe that 2022 will be another positive year in terms of industry and also in terms of the people who would like to visit Malta. Well, I wish you very good luck. Sounds thank fantastic. You. And thank you for chatting to us today. Thank you. Thank you.